Hi, good evening. Good evening, everyone. It's uh, exactly 8.30 and welcome to Ask Me Anything with Mommy Ann plus special announcement. Uh, I see Roselia Ke, Yang. Hello, Yang. And uh, Yang, can you hear me? AJ. Hi, AJ. AJ, good evening, AJ. And uh, Mary Joy, my friend Mary Joy, hello. And Jay, hello. Hello, Jay. And Ludi, Mam Ludi is here. And Yang, thank you. Thank you. So, doon sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa akin, I'm Mir Natam Natividad, or they call me Mami N, as in Mami Negosyo. I'm the first ever Female Entrepreneur of the Year awardee ng DTI sa Samuanga City. And I'd like to share with you the good news. I just heard about it recently lang, just a few days ago, na I have been awarded, as I've been chosen as one of the 100 most influential Filipinas in 2018 by the Global Association of Women called Filipina Women's Network na based in San Francisco, USA. And excited ako dahil I'll have to go to London for the awardee, awarding. All right. So, yung mga award award na yan. So, hi. I uh, my my namesake, Mirna Parayawan Neri. Wow. Hi. And hi Donna. Hi Ludi again. <laughs> And uh, good evening to all of you. So, as I was saying, mga award award ko pinagyayabang ko yan. Hindi act hindi ko talaga actually pinagyayabang. I just wanted you to see the um, uh, possibilities, no? Kasi Before, for the past 30 long years, I was actually a business disaster. Malayong malayong maging awardee. And I opened more than 20 businesses. Tapos, uh, 30, 30 long years, no? 20 businesses. And all the mistakes, lahat ng pwedeng uh, makomit ng isang business owner, nakomit ko na. And dahil doon sa mga mistakes ko, We went into very, very malalim na malalim na utang. Malaking, malaking utang. But, dahil sa matinding desire na hindi makapag-iwan ng utang sa mga anak ko, so, we learned a lot, no? We looked for uh, answers and we learned a lot from our business failures. We also learned a lot sa aming mga franchisors, no? Yung STI, 26 years na kaming franchisee ng STI College, dami namin natutunan dyan, at saka 18 years of experience sa Chow King. We, we bought Chow King, we brought Chow King to Zamboanga until we gave it up two years ago when we retired. So, finally, we got the formula of business success correctly, no? Tapos, we used it in our business, and from negative, naging positive na lahat sa awa ng Diyos, and now, Our business is in Sambuanga and in many cities in Mindanao. And because God has been very good to us, I'd like to spend the rest of my life na giving back. I, I'm now a volunteer mentor sa Go Negosyo and sa DTI in Sambuanga. And I also wrote this book, etong librong to, yan, which contains the Grow Your Business Pinoy Roadmap. Ito. No? I'd like you to see this kasi... Nandito, in lahat ng natutunan namin in all these years. And I have written this book so that we can help anyone who's interested to start a business or to grow their business by sharing how we did it. Okay, so uh, hi, Joanna. And hi, Richard. Nice to see you guys there. Thank you. And wow, Miss Nina is here, my mentor and my idol, Janice. Hello and uh, hello, hello to all of you again. Start with me, Joy. Hello, hello, tayong lahat. Hello sa inyong lahat. All right. So um, lahat ba tayo dito? I'm just wondering. Is everyone ba dito na nanunood ngayon ng eh, Facebook Live? Uh, do you own? Do you already own a business or you would still want to start a business? So uh, I'd like you to write down ko anong Paki-type sa inyong comment. Sa comment, paki-type kung ano yung business ninyo. At kung wala pa, please say none pa. Go ahead. So, so that we will know. All right. Okay. So, habang tinatype nyo, 
kung may mga business kayo o wala, uh, unahin natin tung question na galing kay Dante. My friend Dante posted this question a few days ago. Sabi niya, hindi daw siya makakapag-attend. So, sabi niya, if you are starting a business, is it okay not to pay your employees the mandated minimum wage, justifying that you are just starting and hope they understand? Mm, ang answer ko dyan is, when you're starting a business, meron namang tinatawag na bambilo. No, it's the mara barangay micro something uh, that uh, gives you an exception, exemption that makes you exempted no, uh, from paying the minimum wage. So, mas mababa ang ang mandated na minimum wage para sa mga nag start up pa lang. Kaya lang, sa experience ko, pag nagbayad tayo ng lower than minimum wage, it's very hard to keep our employees. Kaya, I would suggest na kung kaya naman, let's pay them minimum wage. Or kung hindi kaya, let's give the employees na uh, a timeline para sabihin natin, okay, nag-uumpisa pa lang tayo. So, since nag-uumpisa pa lang tayo, eto munang babay ibabayad ko sa inyo. But after six months or after one year or after a certain period of time, we will now follow the minimum wage. Yan. Alam ko maraming naging practice siya ng mga tao na ayaw magbayad ng minimum wage eh. Thinking na uh, nakakatakot dahil nag-uumpisa pa lang sila. But on the other hand, you will not grow if you do not have good people. Kaya to, to, to attract good people and to keep them, we need to pay them better wages. Yan. Okay, so hi Janice and hi Mary, Ma hi Doctora, <laughs> Mary Ann Moya Prudential. Okay, so um, hi Sylvia, hi Musi, hi, hi Gerald, hi Roselle, and hi Royce. Wow, Royce is here, Janice. Okay, yeah, so. I see that a lot of people are business owners already. Wow. Janice is a financial advisor. Royce is selling insurance and investment products. Yung iba, no? So, um, Mary Joy and uh, Mirna is into consulting and training pala. No? Great, great, great. Yan. So... Of course, my idol and my mentor, Nina, offers digital marketing services, training, and consulting. And my favorite supplier of fruits and vegetables, si Richard, si Wang. Okay, Wang is uh, into event organizing and therapy center. And uh, yeah, so Chu, Chu is my daughter. Tinulungan niya ako. Barangay, micro, business, enterprise, law daw yung bambilo. All right. Ronald is an expert in real estate and real estate investing courses if you want to learn. All right. So, uh, hi, Marilyn and Mayette. Hi, April. Hi, Angie. Yes. And Jingjing. Jingjing is my favorite supplier of Pagong Gata. That's something that is very masarap. If uh, you want a pasalubong from Sambuanga, tell me you want. Bag bagong gata. It's really bagoong na merong gata. Kakaiba siya sa mga bagoong dito sa Manila. Okay. So, at this point, is it okay if I ask you to type the questions na that you have? What questions do you want to ask me tonight? Pakitype naman. Yan. No? And while we are Waiting for the questions. There is another question here that was sent earlier. Sabi is, what's a big mistake that causes the downfall of most owners of small businesses? Ano yung pinakamalaking pagkakamali? Um, ang pinakamalaking pagkakamali para sa akin is exactly the mistake that I have committed also earlier. Uh, wherein, nag-umpisa ako ng isang business. Tapos, Hindi maayos yung business na yun. And akala ko, ang business ang may problema. And then, what I would do is I would 
open another business. Kaya dumami yung business eh. Nabanggit ko sa inyo kanina, 20 businesses, kadami-dami. So, because I would start one, tapos sabi, but hindi nag-work, siguro eto mas okay. And then I will look at another one, ah, siguro eto mas okay. O yun, franchise, baka mas okay yun. No? So, that is a mistake that not only I have committed, but a lot of my friends, especially those yung mga na-bankrupt, yun ang naging cause ng kanilang kanilang um, downfall. And you know why? Uh, I'd like to show you again yung roadmap. No? So here is the roadmap. As I said, there are four stages of business growth and tapos there are seven areas dito. Uh, kailangan, pag nandito pa lang tayo sa stage one, dapat eto pa lang yung ginagawa natin. And we do this sa stage two, stage three, and stage four. Now, the areas are marketing, uh, supply, production and value chain, financial management, operations management, technological management, people management, leadership, and uh, management style. Sorry, management skills. Now, this was what happened to me. Okay? Uh, at a certain point, ang galing-galing kong mag-marketing because I learned so much from um, STI. STI ang nagturo sa akin ng mga marketing skills ko. It opened my eyes to possibilities. So, I learned so much sa, sa marketing na napaka-advanced. No? And then, yung aking people management din is very, very advanced. Pero the rest are just okay, okay lang. Pero dito, naglag behind yung aking financial management. And therefore, ang akala ko, ang business ang may problema. Yung pala, ang may problema, yung paghawa ko ng pera. No, it's in the accounting, it's in handling cash, it's the way uh, I, I just borrow money whenever I needed money because I thought that borrowing money is the answer. So, ganon. So, with this problem of not being able to handle money, I went and opened another business with the same problem kasi hindi ko pa na nasosolve yung problema ko sa paghawak ng pera sa isang business, sa first business, pumasok na ako sa second, tapos sa third. Tapos sa fourth, di lalong lumaki ng lumaki yung aking problema sa paghawak ng money. O even if marketing was doing well and uh, people management was doing well also, but then since money, handling money was my problem. So no matter what business I went into, I still had the same problem. So yun ang the biggest mistake para sa akin na nakapag-cause ng downfall of most owners ng mga businesses. Okay, so um, I hope it was able to, I was able to help. All right, so yeah, so hello, uh, Jorisa, Esteban Asis, Ma'am Eli, hello, Gladys, I'm happy to see you here. Thank you, Donna, and Jocelyn Ann, Manuel, hello. Yeah, so um, Joanna is asking, let's answer the first question here. Joanna is asking, um, can you share about hiring people or staff? Um, yeah, one, one philosophy I have in hiring is never hire friends, relatives, um, maski na inaanak, or yung mga recommended ng mga friends. Why? Kasi, especially relatives, no? Halimbawa, hinire mo yung isang relative, let's say, pamangkin mo. Tapos, siyempre, kung may problema yung pamangkin, didisiplinahin mo because you have to treat her as an employee. But once you try to discipline her and, or him and she goes back or he goes back to his house crying and telling his parents na, ay, ganito, ganito, ganito yung ginawa sa akin ni auntie. What will happen is that you will end up having enemies. Ang enemy mo yung kanyang magulang. No? And the problem is, hindi mo naman pwedeng i-fire yung iyong pamangkin kasi pamangkin siya. So that, that would be very tough. So pag finire mo siya, ay lalo na. Hindi lang kayong mag-aaway nung kanyang mga magulang, whether pinsan mo or whoever, uh, ang mag-aaway ang mag eventually is your children with their children 
and so on throughout the generations. No? So, ganun. So, pagkaibigan naman, you end up losing a friend kasi mahirap maging employee yung isang kaibigan. So, that's one of the things that I I do when I think about when hiring. No, lalo na yung mga merong merong mga nagre-recommend na mga friends or neighbors tapos uh, pinapasok nila parang mga parang palakasan, I would not hire that person. Kasi in my experience, itong taong to kapag uh, hinire ko na later on, lumalaki yung ulo kasi alam niya na meron siyang backer eh. So kung alam niya meron siyang backer, then he or she will not perform as uh, as well as he or she needs to. So, ang mga employees ko, especially my team, all of them, all of them, 100% came in as strangers. Walang backer, nobody. So, all I had to do was to do, okay, syempre, screen natin and do background check. So, that's one of the principles that I abide no, yung mga philosophy ko na sinusunod ko sa at, at tinuturo ko sa mga anak ko. Don't hire people who are relatives, inaanak, and so on. Hire strangers and then do a thorough background check so that if you need to fire them, you can fire them. No strings attached. Yon. Yan. So, okay. So, tips for a startup and entrepreneur. Uh, tips. Hmm. Uh, Ang tips ko talaga is nandito lahat dito sa aking aking uh, roadmap no there are there are simple things that you really need to to follow napaka simple lang ng pag start up so i i'm not really very sure kung ano yung context ng question ni ni Wang Wang is it um i did not get your business uh maybe you can elaborate some more and i'll come back you okay so all right hi Sherlyn are you joining us from Korea it's nice to see you yeah hmm. Marilyn Baez Alilang is here Allen hi hi Allen Jerisa um, okay uh, Jimmy Tua wow and see si Ruth Kasison Ruth Kasison is in catering. Nino, thank you very much. Oh, my son, Iko, is here. And Iko is a streamer. I'm very proud of my son. He's a streamer. And he is a pro player of LOL, no, League of Legends, in case anybody is into games. Larry, again, what can you advise entrepreneurs like us who are starting to grow the team? Would you recommend doing FB shoutouts to look for applicants? Sure. Uh, to look for applicants, you can do anything. You just need to get the word out. So what works for us now, surprisingly, is really FB. FB, we post it sa aming FB, FB account, uh, FB pages. And then we ask people to share. And then we also invest in FB ads. Yeah, yeah. Napakalakas. Uh, for you also, Joanna, baka yung Job Street will do, will also help you. Kasi Job Street is also helping us. At saka yung ibang mga sites. Tapos sa LinkedIn din. Uh, we do postings also sa LinkedIn. Yan. So, Jorisa, thank you for inviting your friends. Genevieve Lacchio Boholz. Hello. Jocelyn Tan. Manuel T. Hello again. And uh, sabi ni Janice Senorin de la Cruz, if you have minimal capital, what would you suggest? To build your own business or go into franchise? All right. Uh, franchise is tricky, no? Lalo na yung mga, what do you call this? Kasi ang, ang usong-uso ngayon is food cart na franchise. Hindi ako masyadong sold dyan. Uh, dahil... Uh, a lot of these food carts, they just sell you the food cart. And they just sell you the food cart and walang masyadong support. No? So, okay. Um, SDI and Chow King are very good franchisors. Kasi kahit nang wala kang kaalam-alam, you'll be able to open 
the business and you will be able to sustain it. Actually, like for example, like Chow King, the franchise fee is uh, only 1 million pesos and then the investment is about about 15 million, 12 to 15 million. Pero yung lahat ng 12 to 15 million ay nasa equipments. It's all about equipments and training. Talagang ginastos yun. Tapos yung 1 million na nilagay natin doon, it's all marketing materials. In other words, yung franchisor, hindi siya interesado sa money down mo. What he is interested in is in the long-term relationship. Because that is where he earns royalties from you and for selling you the products. Okay? But, and also STI then. No, STI, when we got STI, we only, it was only for 1 million. And whatever they gave us was more than what we got, what we paid for na 1 million. Long time ago na yon, na more than 20 years na, no? 26 years to be exact. But, Magandang franchisor ang STI dahil mas interesado sila sa pag-support sa amin. Yung all throughout. Because again, they are interested in the royalties that we pay, not in the initial investment. Now, be wary of um, franchisors na pag sinabing, oh, etong bibigay ninyo, so whatever you pay for, tapos wala nang support. Uh, the, a, franchise, a franchisor, the value of a franchisor is yung proseso and systems nila. How do you sell? How do you, how do you recruit? How do you train? How do you terminate? How do you sell? How do you... Lahat dapat, ano nila, covered nila. And that would be a very, very good idea or a franchise idea of a franchisor. So, yun. so what do I suggest if you have minimal capital? Actually, ang business, capital is not the issue. Eh. Uh, the issue really is market. In the first place, don't think about your capital. Think about ano yung hinahanap na pwede mong i-provide. Kasi when I started, I did not have any capital. So, I started asking my co-teachers and they said, oh, kailangan namin ng rice. We want a supplier for rice kasi we will be buying pepper by, by the kilo and it's difficult. So I said, oh, rice. So I looked for a supplier of rice and I talked to them and uh, asked them if, uh, sabi ko wala akong capital, if I can pay them when I collect. And they agreed. So, ganun, no? Um, so it's hard for you to have a capital Think of the capital, buy something, tapos sell it. That's a very difficult thing to do. I would advise against that. Okay. So, um, hi, Alnel. Alnel is our student. And Angel, Angel Amic also, Michael Villanueva. Um, yeah. Uh, Shirley. Nice to see you, Shirley. There are many other questions. Kaya lang, syempre, ang sabi natin, 30 minutes lang, paano kaya ito? So, uh, maybe ganun na lang. Since we said that we will only be here for 30 minutes and we already overshot yung 30 minutes, uh, let's just have another, kung okay lang sa inyo, let's have another Facebook Live next Thursday so we can answer all these questions that we have not been able to answer. No? Dami pa nito, no? Yeah. Yeah, so Marilyn Abelia has a very beautiful question. And uh, yeah, Michael Lax Laxon Villanueva, hello. Yeah, Teresa Luna, hello. Rodexter Espiritu, Annabelle is here. Diana, hi Diana. And uh, Beth Hopkins from the US. And uh, Candy, nice to see you. And uh, Jeb, Mary June, hello. Grace Salvador Asejo, Cherry Maylin, Rene Galicio, wow, so nice to see all of you here. And Mam Ma Lorna is here. Okay, so since overtime na tayo, all right, so next, ano ha? So on, on Saturday, we will announce the winner of the three books and Next Thursday, let's have another Facebook Live. So we will 
same time then so we will reply to all these questions that we were not able to ask so because i value your time and we need to stick to our schedule kahit na nag overshoot na thank you very much lahat all of you thank you very much for participating i hope you learned something ha and if you can also share your biggest takeaway dito no so uh, before you leave just share your biggest takeaway today and uh, next week i'll see you next week again next thursday 8:30 uh, and if we can uh, if there are more questions maybe we can go from 8:30 to 9:30 okay so again thank you everyone thank you candy thank you mom lorna thank you wang thank you jeff thank you janice thank you uh, renee Sherry May, Grace, thank you, thank you, Jeb, thank you. Alan, thank you, my my mentor, and thank you, Mary June, thank you, Candy, thank you, Beth, thank you, Alnel, Forever STI Tama, thank you, Royce, thank you, Diana, thank you, Annabelle, thank you, Musi, Rodexter, thank you, thank you, Teresa, thank you, Marilyn, thank you, my Katukayo Mirna, thank you, Nina. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Genevieve. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Ayaw nang tumakbo ng aking, aking, ano, mouse. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good night. See you next week. Bye-bye.